You got bad hair? Do you need a hat? Well, check this out. We will go through the process of designing and putting on a custom design onto a hat. And you can look like this guy. You can just watch. So what I've got planned for this episode is I'm gonna design something to put onto my hat. I had a previous hat that I used in a lot of my older videos. I didn't like it. I wore it for the simple fact that I didn't like my hair and I was a little uncomfortable but I wore it anyway and I don't see the point in paying $50 for another hat when I can get myself one and I can make it the way that I want to make it. So I'm going to get my design made, ready, then I'm going to take it over and then I'm going to get my heat press transformed over to a hat press. The heat press that I use I actually got from a friend. I have a lot of people asking me where I got my heat press from and I actually got it from a friend that I met through my advertising business when I first really wanted to get into business. I met it through him and he had the aspirations of actually using it for sublimation. Things happened and then he ended up moving away to Queensland and I ended up with it and then that gave me the start to making my t-shirt business a reality. So what I'll be doing is, this is a swing away press that I use, the one that you've seen in my videos, it's a swing away press. It's a five in one, six in one. It goes up to, uh, I don't know how many degrees Celsius, but goes up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, which is perfect for sublimation. Sublimation, you go up to about 400 degrees for t-shirts and things like that. Fahrenheit, remember 400 degrees Fahrenheit, I don't know why everything's in Fahrenheit and this thing, it's doing the job but I don't really like this, the slide away, I, I really don't like it, the swing away is a bit of a pain in the behind, you'll be putting your t-shirt on there or anything like that and you'll try and adjust it and it's in the way and you know, it. you put it in a spot and it needs 360 to move around and then the power cord gets caught. you actually seen that on one of my other videos where I put the design onto the baby onesie. The actual uh, power cord actually came out because it was moving side to side all the time. Uh, but what I will do is I will invest in a clamshell type. The clamshell actually operates and it lifts up and it actually gives you a visual where you can put your sheet, the shirt on there you can actually line it up and then put it down and there's less chance of actual burning. I'll get on to designing my thing that I want on my hat and then we'll convert it over into another form, like a transformer. Yeah. No, it's not, I don't think robots make that noise. So I'll get on to designing it and then we'll transform it. So what I've got now is I've got my design I'm going to print it out onto sticker vinyl first. That gives me an idea because it's cheaper for sticker vinyl than it is for HTV. I usually get my ideas, then I transport it onto sticker vinyl, and then it gives me an idea of the size. Then I can just put it up as a little bit of a mock up for myself. Probably that might be a handy little tip, or that might just be generally well known. But it's always good to have some cheap uh, sticker adhesive uh, vinyl there, go through try it out then again you can get the idea of the size do you want it bigger do you want it smaller you know if I'm ever doing a chest design I get the sticker vinyl hold it up and sort of have an idea I can even stick it to the shirt if I want to and then it can just sort of be a temporary look if I like the design in that spot hey look take that some free knowledge for you enjoy so I'm going to print this out onto some sticker vinyl and then we can have a look at it so here we go I've got my design down, just a simple 33 T's on there, and that's going to go onto my hat, right bang in the middle of it, right, see? So what I can do is I can just get my vinyl, I can take it off, and I can just put it on the hat and just mock up what it's going to look like. You know. So there I'm actually going to see what the actual hat looks like. Yes, it's got the um, 
thing on there. You can peel that off if you want to, but it's going to be easier for me just to yank it off. But I'm just going to have it on there, but I'm going to have it in gold. I'm going to have it in gold. Gold, baby. So, I'm going to peel that off, and I'm going to stick that somewhere. Now, I'm going to get my gold into the vinyl cutter, cut it out, weed it, and then I'm going to put it on the heat press once I've got it organised and actually set up to do hats. Let's do it. get rid of that steam preheat it just for five seconds and then what I'll do is I'll get my design on there get some heat proof tape on and then we'll heat set it into the hat so I'll just move that across just line it up Just give it a little five, 10 seconds just to get rid of any moisture that might be inside that hat. Cool. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna get that design and I'm gonna put it on there. Just gonna line it up to the best that I can. That looks fine. Sure. Now I'm just going to stick it in the press. I'm just going to hit it one more time. Just for another five seconds. And there you are, a nice 33 T's hat, custom made using the 6-in-1 heat press and a polyurethane material heat transfer vinyl. Just want to make sure that you go easy on the heat, especially when you're working with things like polyester. You want to make sure that you don't raise that heat up too high. 
so as to scorch the material. But, I mean, apart from my tiny head and the way this cap looks, makes me look, I'm pretty happy. And you know, it's just another thing to add to the, um, the arsenal of things that you can offer customers. That's the best thing. Just keep practicing, getting better, and offering more to the customer so that when they ask for, say, a t-shirt, you can offer them a mug, you can offer them hats, you can offer them sublimated goods, you know, you can offer them more and you can actually start upselling things. Someone comes in for one thing, you can offer five. But I hope this helped, I hope you got something out of it and I appreciate you watching till the end. It really does mean a lot and I love you, I appreciate you. And I hope you have a good day. Adiós.